night, friends. We've been missing you at school. If we were together today, we would be learning about transportation. Transportation is different ways that we get around. Some of you have a car or a truck at home. Some of you take a school bus or your, your older siblings might take a school bus to get to school. If you're going on a trip with your family, some of you might even go on an airplane or some of you might even ride on the train. So today we're gonna to read On the Train, it's a Shine the Light book. It's really cool because we get to see what's going on on the next page when we shine the light. You wanna take a look? All right, let's see. Before they travel, the trains are checked and tested by maintenance workers. Can you see what's behind the blue shed? Can you take a guess at what they might be doing to the train before it leaves the station? Let's take a look. I have my trusty light so we can see what's on the other side. The engine is moving through a train wash. Spinning rollers cover it with soap and water to make it sparkle. Swish, swish, swish. The train's windows are clean before the next trip. Can you see another busy maintenance worker? Let's take a look, see what he might be doing. Can you see him? The train runs on fuel called diesel. The maintenance worker connects the fuel pump to the train and fills it with diesel. All aboard. The conductor on the platform is blowing his whistle to let the engineer know it's time to go. Who is checking the tickets? Who checks the tickets, do you know? Well, let's take a look. Can you see? The conductor checks each ticket and then punches a hole. The passengers can also ask the conductor questions about the trip. The doors close and our train moves out of the station. Take a peek inside the engineer's cab. Who's the engineer? Do you know? He's the one who makes the train go. The engineer pushes the speed control. This makes the train travel faster. There he is, ready to go. Our train stops at a red signal. A freight train rolls by. Can you see what's inside the freight cars? Over here, we're on a passenger train where people ride. This is a freight train that takes big cars full of stuff from one place to another. Let's see what they're taking from one place to another. You wanna take a guess? Let's see. Burr. These containers are cold to keep food fresh. There are onions from the farm and fish from the sea. Look out by the window behind the hill. Another kind of train is approaching. What kind of train do you think this is? It has some steam coming out the top. Can you guess what kind of train that might be? If you said a steam engine, you were right. It's a steam engine high up on a viaduct. Puff, puff, puff. A viaduct is a long, high bridge that crosses over a valley or a river. And here it comes. This engine burns coal to make steam. Let's look inside, see how it works. Whoosh. The steam rushes out of the boiler and pushes the pistons that turn the engine's wheels. It uses steam to run, and they have to use coals, and there goes the steam, and it pushes the wheels. It makes that choo-choo-choo sound. This is an electric train. Coming out of the tunnel, where does the electricity come from? Well, let's see. Do you see these cables up here that it runs on? Crackle and zip. A metal rod called a pantograph reaches up and slides along overhead. Electricity runs down to power the train. Uh-oh, our train is cha changing directions. Can you see why? If it came down this way, it wouldn't be very good. What do you think is behind this wall? What do you think's going on? That's why the train can't go that way. Let's take a peek. Let's see if you were right. Well, if you guessed that there were men working behind that wall, you were right. 
Maintenance workers are wearing hard hats and fixing rails. A machine helps them lay new tracks right in place. Clack, clank, clank. If the train came this way, it wouldn't be very safe, would it? We're glad it changed directions. Our train stops at a station. A porter rolls a food cart onto the train. What are people doing in this car? If you think someone's bringing a food cart in there, what do you think they're doing? Well, if you said they're eating, then you're right. This is the dining car. Here passengers sit down for a meal or a snack. Let's see this train. The green train has stopped by to let passengers trains pass by. What are people doing in the white train? So these are all different kinds of trains. Let's see what people are doing in this white train. Hmm. It's nighttime, so what do you think they're doing? They are, see here's the moon and the stars. They're sleeping. Passengers sleep in compartments with beds. The train travels through the night. Some people eat and sleep on the train because they're going a long way, right? So they have to sleep somewhere. Let's see. The conductor on our train announces the last stop. People stand up and get ready to leave. Do you want to peek inside their luggage? You want to see what's in there? I bet you can take a guess to see what's in there. Let's see, can you guess to see what's in there? If you said a cat, you were right. The little girl has a her little teddy and the man or the woman has some gifts in their luggage. Some pets can travel on trains too. Cats have to go in special carriers. Let's see, our train arrives in the city. We will get off this train and travel to an underground train instead. Some cities have underground trains, like subways or rails. And you can see it hiding under the street right there. It goes really fast, like way faster than regular cars on the road is one of these rail trains or subway trains. They go super fast. So sometimes it's faster to take that kind of train underground. Let's see. Our train uses its brakes to stop in the station. What else can stop the train? Can people stop the train in the station? Probably not, but let's see what they use under the train. These special things right here. You can see one in the other one. It's like a little brake, right? In some countries, buffers help stop the train. They show the end of the line. They bump into this thing and then they stop. Well, our trip is over. We have to leave our train. Soon it will be time to travel again. All aboard. Did you enjoy that one? I did too. I really liked all the secrets behind the pages and how you could use a cool uh, flashlight. I got this one at Chick-fil-A. Maybe some of you have this book too, and if you haven't tried it at home, you should try it. You might even be able to make one of your own. I can show you how to do that. Maybe we'll do an art project together. Well, friends, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow, and have a great day. And here's a virtual hug from Miss Normandy. If you stretch your arms out real wide like this, we can give each other a hug through the internet. What do you think? Stretch your arms out, wrap them around like this. Miss Normandy loves you and I'm praying for you and I hope you're having a great day and we'll see you real soon.